Why, well, hello everybody. Today, I want us to um, go over or remind ourselves about theme versus central idea. So I'm gonna be going over this slide with everybody. We took notes on this the last week that we were in school, so it shouldn't be too unfamiliar, but I do wanna give everybody a quick reminder of what we were studying. So theme, we'll start over here. It's gonna be on the left side. You are welcome to pause this video at any time so you can read this clearly. Um, but our guiding question that I want us to ask ourselves is, what does the author want me to take away? So whatever I'm reading, what does the author want me to take away? Because it's either going to be a theme or a central idea. So if it is in if it is a literary text, literary text means anything that is made up, then what you are going to take away, what the author's message is, is going to be a theme. So themes are going to be found in narratives, in novels, such as The Hunger Games or The Giver, that's another novel. Um, those are two examples. It's also found in poetry, mystery, science fiction, and fairy tales. So a theme is the author's message in a story that is made up or fictional. Fictional is the academic word. If we go over to our right side of the screen here, right side of the slide, we have informational texts. So if I go and ask myself, what does the author want me to take away? And it's an informational text, then I know right away that it's not gonna be a theme, but it's going to be down here. It's gonna be a central idea. So examples of informational text would be memoirs, like the one we read, I Am Malala, so that's an example. Um, autobiographies, there are some really good stories that people write about themselves, that's a real story, so that's an autobiography. Um, other examples would be cookbooks, how-to guides, or news articles. So imagine if instead of every morning, um, we read CNN 10 instead of watching it. Um, if I asked you to write the main idea or the author's message, then you would give me the central idea of that video or that article, not the theme. All right, so the main takeaway here is central ideas are always going to be informative or informational text and you can refer to this slide. Themes are always going to be literary texts. They will always come from literary texts or fictional texts. So that's going to be novels like The Giver and The Hunger Games. It might be um, mystery or science fiction. It could be a fairy tale like A Little Red Riding Hood. That is going to have a theme. So either way, the main thing that we're asking ourselves and taking away is, what does the author want me to take away? If it's in a literary text, it is a theme. If it is an informational text, it is the central idea. That's all for the review today. Have a good day.